hello and welcome back to another video. I have just been at work today. Everyone has pretty much gone home for Easter, except me. Like at Christmas, I am staying a bit longer. I have, wait, let me show you. I have this giant list. This is the work to catch up on and this is work to do for after Easter. Great. So yeah, the fact that everyone's gone home is pretty good because it means that I can focus on doing that. Um, because I'm mostly doing work and like not much, I feel like it's, this is going to be quite a chatty vlog. But anyway, so I have a parcel that's just arrived. Here it is. And what it is, is packing cubes. Because apparently they're meant to be quite good and very helpful at like condensing your stuff and just organising your stuff when you're packing. Because when I go back home and go away, I'm only back home for a few days, but because of planes and like luggage restrictions on planes, I have to live out of this bag for, for, for two, two and a half weeks live out of this this isn't that big and i'm small so i have small clothes but it's still i think there's seven or eight like different sized bags i don't know if they're all bags i can't remember exciting i got pink because well i didn't think it would be this bright but all the others it was like gray or brown and there was another one but it was dull so Okay. Oh, cute. Okay, this one's big. That's quite a good size. Like this could fit like just easily all of my my tops in, um, and maybe even a pair of trousers. I feel like you can fit quite a lot in these. Uh, a little pouch one. This one's a drawstring bag. So it's a big drawstring bag. Ooh, I think this one they showed putting shoes in. This, this will be the middle size. Sweet. And smaller size. Oh. Okay. They're good sizes. I'm very happy with this purchase. I will leave a link to the one I got. It's It was only like eight quid, I think. So I'll leave a link to that below. I don't know how, I mean, there's like some loose threads here. I don't know how durable it is, but really as long as it's holding my stuff, I'm happy. Good morning. It's Thursday. Um, I woke up at like, <clears throat> I woke up at nine. I think it's now like half 11. I was gonna try and get out by 10. Good going for me. I've got train tickets I need to pick up, lots of little bits I just need to get, some food shopping I need to get. So we're going for a trip into town and then uni work all afternoon. Can you see that? Yeah, change of plan. I think I'm gonna hold off going outside for a little bit um, because it's snowing. Not ideal. I think it's meant to clear up in the next hour or so, so maybe I'll do some uni work now and then I'll go into town afterwards. Chaos. I'm not being funny, it's literally five minutes later. Look, it's bloody blue sky. What is happening? and sunshine like half an hour ago. What is this weather? Look, it's like snowing. Proper. This is half an hour later again. Bright sunshine. I'm back at the flat. I've been back for a bit. It's freezing cold. So I'm wrapped in my blanket and under my duvet. I'm getting some work done. Hello. I need to change my calendar. It's not March anymore. Although my March picture, uh, my April picture is kind of scary. Let me show you. March. This is April. 
like this is the Brighton Marathon so like that's good but why did they choose a clown it's almost a good thing that I'm not here for most of April good morning it's um nine it's like 9 a.m it's too early I've literally just gotten out of bed but this arrived on Thursday but I never got an email from reception I don't know why and receptions only open at 8 till 10 in the morning and then 3 till 6 in the afternoon like weekdays so I woke up this morning because I really wanted my parcel <laughs> I'm so tired to what I was expecting. Oh, it's so soft. Okay, okay, I got two things. So the first thing I got is this blue top. Um, and then like at the back, it says it's got two straps um, on each side. I mean, if you know me, you know I have a million of these tops. I've got a black one, a pink one, a green one. And then I also got a kind of grey with some sparkles in one although that one crosses at the back whereas the others don't but they're literally like my favourite like tops like you can just wear them all year round and they're so cute and they're like the softest like material they're so comfortable and then I got this cute little bag because I didn't have like a proper cute bag for going out how do you open it? be cute if I could get into it though. Oh, oh. That makes a lot more sense. <laughs> I was trying to undo the buckle but it's not, it's like a fake buckle. It probably would undo but that makes sense, it's just a pop up. I was thinking that'll be a bit of a nightmare to undo every time. Okay, let's put that back. That's a lot easier. Look how cute. It's a bit darker than like of a blue than I, that I thought it would be, but I love it. I might take this away with me on holidays. Bye, see you later. I am having a, having a mild stress. So EasyJet changed their bloody bag policy last year, which is the worst thing that's ever happened to the world. Because before, I could have a small suitcase, which would have been more than enough for my two and a half weeks away from here, right? Now, this is all I've got. This is clothes, and this is clothes. Um, and yeah, it's basically full. Um... And I'm normally someone who like overpacks and this was me really cutting down. Oh shit, and I haven't put half the stuff in there as well. I'm gonna continue to stress and struggle my way through this and hopefully when I next see you, it will be good. Okay, I've also just made a change. I've just turned them like sideways. So originally I had them stacked next to each other but I've put this at the bottom now and then this on top. This will be absolutely full because I've got like more clothes to go in there. But imagine that. And then there's actually more space than I thought in there. So that's enough for toiletries. Okay, this is room starting to be tidied up, as you can see. Oh, actually, I want to show you this that I got today. So I went to Hebden Bridge today um, and I got this. It's a soap. It's a fish in a bag. And it is like a the plastic is like real plastic. And they've like made the soap in there and there's a goldfish in it also it smells of mango and it smells delicious it's from the a shop called the yorkshire soap company in hebden bridge so if you are ever there pretty cool yeah current packing situation these are still drying i put them on the radiator because it's just like the waistbands is quite thick so it's not dried yet those shoes need to be packed they are just drying off a little bit a bit more tidying to do and then we've got this situation. So my bed, I'm currently washing my bedding. So I've just put this over here. 
thrown loads of stuff here. It's obviously one of my bags. All of this is drying. Um, and I'm going to throw it all in here and then, well, that's all dry. At, this is all dried actually, but I'm going to throw it all on here and organize everything. Handprint. Organize everything into piles and then start actually packing them into these bags, into the, that bag, that bag, and my other bag. And there we go, with a lot of compressing and squishing, it's all in. That's number one. Now for number two. Um, one look and you can see that that is bursting at the seams. Um, oh, I'm having, oh my God, that's, Jesus Christ, that's heavy. I am having a debate with myself, hello, about whether I should wear my joggers or not. I've had to cut down on underwear, so I'm going to have to do a wash at someone's, probably Abby's, um, and also at home, because I've only got 10 pairs of underwear now, instead of, well, I'm going away for 18 days, but we don't have space for 10, 18 pairs of underwear. Um, as you can see, we have like literally this much space. I've managed to fit my laptop, can you see? That's my laptop. I've managed to fit my laptop in here as well. And then my liquids bag can go here. There's a couple extra bits to go in there and I've got cables here. And then these two are like on top of each other and they are really tightly in there. Okay, I think I'm gonna make a bold decision. I'm not gonna take joggers with me. <laughs> I want my joggers. No, I'm not going to take joggers with me. I literally live in my joggers. It's literally two and a half weeks. I'm like being a bit dramatic there. But right, I'm not going to take my joggers. I was going to wear my joggers and then I've got a pair of jeans in here because obviously I'm still going to be in England and I'm not sure that I'm going to have nice warm weather necessarily when I'm in Europe. But I mean, like for reference, out of this whole square, like this is my jeans. Like that's taking up a lot of like the entire space. This also means I have to travel in the jeans, um, which I'm not that keen on. It's got so much more space. I mean, that could squidge down even more now. Like, look, that can squidge down a lot more compared to what it was. Bum, 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 bum. Looking like a year seven. Like, on PE day. This is my PE kit. This is my year seven rock star. Okay, it's a tad later. I've just made another decision. We're taking out a pair of shorts because I've already got a black pair and I've got other bottoms. So, taking out that. And we've also taken out one of our tops because I have another like white top that's, it's not that similar, but it does the same job. So, I feel like the, the sizes of the like cubes now fit. They're not too big or chunky. It's still gonna be a tight squeeze. But I think, feeling a lot less stressed, basically. Which is what we want. We are all packed up, ready to go. One bag, two bag, three bag. Room is all tidy. And hoovered. I'm going to go home to Brighton. Then I'm going to Cambridge, then I'm going to France, then I'm going to Amsterdam, then I'm going to London. And then we're gonna come back. So, I will see you in my next video where I will be on my way to France. Bye.